Right there you tube, here's what's going on. I'm changing my handles. I've already done it. These were just black. Now, a couple of things I will show you is, as you can see, the driver's side's good. There were dramas where that'd feel loose and that'd stick open. Um, a bit like this guy here. Where I forgot, now what happens? I've got the other handle up there, I'll show you. I should probably go get that thing and uh, show you what I mean. So I wandered up and I got the handle just then. Um, what happens? You see this fella here, I didn't notice. Nice and tight, it's all happening. And yes, I'm doing this one handed with one, only one hand and uh, everything else in the other. This fella here is tight. Now, the driver's side, I did actually um, grease it and put WD-40 and all the rest of it in there and try and free it up. And then, it was tight at first, but it wore in. It, 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 uh, it moved in and uh, moves freely. This one's tight, I can see that straight away. But uh, the task is to get the door off and uh, first thing we want to do is uh, actually put down the window. Next thing we want to do is get to this fella here and pop it out. Just uh, fingers behind here and just it pops out. It's got one clip holding it in and pull up. I'll demonstrate in a minute. There you go. This clip goes in that hole. And you got a tab here that goes inside that hole there. So what happens? The tab goes down and the clip goes in. So you you put your fingers back there, pull it. At back, lift it up, and uh, you can uh, do it as you please. The next thing we want to do is one, two, three screws. Um, so I'll get those out, or we can do this first. And I will do it first, actually. It's a bastard, too. I don't like doing it. 10 mil socket. Phillips head screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver. The three things you can use to get this door off. I've already had it off before and now it's in there, but basically what you want to do, the best way I can show you is by pausing this video, popping it off, because you, and then showing you what's back there so you can understand what you need to do, because I can't really show you any other way really but you got to get this cone piece here get the screwdriver between that and pop the thing out hang on this is what's inside that door it clicks on by means this cup i put it all back on just to show you that goes you got two grooves and um, you can cur you'll be cursing and swearing at it for a while while it was on there because that goes the two it clips it onto that groove this goes this way what I found you can pop that off when you do you got more access like you, you, you feel it clip off you feel like you've got room to mess around you just get a screwdriver in there and however way you see fit that's how you pop this pin out and uh, there's no easy way to show you three screws get them next that's it all the screws are out there's just three screws next thing just uh, get this filler out I mean it's just the uh, inner cup Rest of the handle stays there. And literally just um door trim just pops off, the rest is clips. So three screws, the rest is clips. Here we go. You gotta lift it up. Lifting it up, like two hands either side and pull it straight up, maneuver it straight up. 
literally everything you got there can sit there. What I like about these doors, they have like a membrane here that you can pull away anytime you feel and put back anytime you feel. That, that bead seems to be reusable. The problem here is the window's in the way. So you can use this anytime you feel. Put that back on there. And uh, there you go. Got access to that. I think I need to clean this lens. No, there's just a lot of sunlight around. Kind of, kind of scary. There's a lot of flies around too. This is Australia, folks. I'm just, I think that uh, I think it was a 10 mil. Yep, 10 mil there. This here is the other access to the other, the other one. But first, with this flat blade screwdriver, you got to focus the camera for a start. That would be a good place to start. Basically, pop. Well, actually, follow that one. If I pull the handle out, that lowers that one down. By lowering it down, basically what happens... Um, you got the uh, piece that goes in. Once it goes in... So you got that hole and it goes in there. Once it's in that hole, that clips down on the rod to hold it in. And that's it. And it's pretty tight, so... That one is, so we'll get that out. Um, you will know anyway, just pop it out. You'll get it. Push the, th push the things over and then bloody pull the thing out. I can't demonstrate using just one hand. I've got to get that out and then have the two handles side by side. I'm not bloody, this, this YouTube channel isn't funded by anything and uh, I don't have all the fancy camera equipment. I've just got a bloody mobile phone. This entire YouTube channel was filmed with my own personal phone. That was it. So I'll get that camera out. Camera. It's Christmas day, day 2018, and I've had a few beers. So let me get that out. One thing I'll draw your attention to is these clips. Best, not, best to be shown here. One there. To there. Yeah, I worked it. The two bottom ones go in first and then the top one comes out. But uh, getting them out, whichever works, okay, the bottom ones come out. But going in, I found the top, the bottom goes in and the top clips into place. Now, the door lock itself 10mm bolt there and a 10mm bolt there. Use Google to um, translate that to imperial sizes because um, I've got a gut full of piss and I just can't stop and think for a moment what the uh, sizes would be. So, two bolts and the lock comes out. With the bolts out, you will find that the lock just comes straight out. That's your lock. And uh, the reverse for the new lock. I kept the old doors, door handles too, the original black ones. Now, keep I keep the plastic on until the job is done. Just a little side note. Keep the plastic on until the job is done. My dad picked this up. I put this at the front door. He said, geez, I tell you what. He said, this one here, it's got a dent. He said, but... Uh, this one here is all buggered. Look at it. I said, that's a plastic. He said, you want to hope that's a plastic? I said, that's a plastic. Leave it on until the job's done. Right, uh, so put the bolts back in again, one hand. So let me put those in and uh, moving on. With that now in place, I've got to do something about this. That's starting to free up, but th that's where it's catching. There. Just, just that there. That's all it was. Um, 
with this guy here, it's di this issue is different, it's just very tight. So when I open the handle and close it, it'll be sloppy because it's binding here. So I'm going to go away and uh, I might even pop that out, get some grease. These two came from the same seller. I get, I guess you get what you're given, but I'm going to get some grease, put it on there, put that back in, see if I can uh, do something about that to free it up, because that's why, if you already have put your door handle on, you notice it is, you close the door and the handle feels loose, even if it closes all the way, the handle closes itself all the way but feels loose, the lever hasn't pulled that all the way back, and it's loose here. Like that has stopped there, not all the way back. So when it stops there, uh, binding on the handle, if that stops there, the handle will feel loose. And that's what the driver's side felt like before. It, I, it, got, a spray, it got grease and a spray of WD-40, and uh, it no longer does it. So it's, it's, uh, it's wound its way in, so to speak. So we will uh, sort something out there to make this move freely inside there before proceeding well here's what i actually did i took it out i put grease on it and as i'm wriggling back and forth i dropped some uh, that thin air tool oil on it as well it still feels a bit tight but i'm sure that'll sort itself out eventually it'll it's certainly a lot better than what it was, but uh, it'll improve over time, as as my driver's door did. These are brand new parts, you see. Um, get it in, I suppose. Just uh, yeah, bottom clips in, then follow it up with the top clip and uh, put the bolts in. Which yeah, it's yeah, take it as it comes, I suppose. Better cover this as well. The lock side in first. Follow it with the rest of the handle. That's it. That's the only way it'll go in. Right uh. This is to my amazement it was actually the bottom half that went in easier on this one. Remember that wrestling and arguing is uh, normal with aftermarket parts not made from the factory. And uh Yes, if you anyone saw me freaking reflection there, mate, wearing a pair of shorts, it's bloody hot. <laughs> Pay no attention to that reflection. Pay attention to what I'm trying to show you. Um, two bolts. Again, a bit of wrestling may be involved. This is an aftermarket part. Once it goes in, I'll tell you what, she looks bloody good. Hang on. Straight in first go. But the first time I did it with the other handle, no, it wasn't. So, yeah, just be be mindful that uh, oh, and um, tighten them up carefully. Just be be aware that you're tightening this and a piece in here, and um, make sure everything's lined up first. Everything looks good, and where it needs to sit before you finally finish tightening them up. Right there, so now let's put those linkages on. I put the lock linkage on first, then the door handle, and as you can see, it's still a bit tight. Once I demonstrate, it was just sticking out before, now it's returning slowly. So, literally, just um, this door doesn't get used much. I understand that when they stick out like that, the other handle actually stayed out. And when you close the door, it will just swing open. I did that. I closed the door. Oh, it's good to know that that works. But I closed that door and the handle stayed open. Or, sorry, someone 
jumped in the car with me, closed the door. They pulled that open, jumped in, yada, yada, yada. And um, I, 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 I had to reverse backwards and then reverse backwards and go that way. As I reversed backwards and went that way, the passenger door swung open. And the passenger caught the door, thank goodness. But uh, I had to explain to him what had actually happened. Now that was thick and open, now it's freeing up, so... A bit of this one out. And uh, as, as it pulls tight, this will snug up too, like... Like, uh... On the driver's side. That was very sloppy and firmed up. Expect it. They are aftermarket parts. Now, I'm going to put the door trim back on. Um, what was I going to do first? Get the keys and uh, make sure that the lock works. Yep. Do all this stuff first before you go put all your trim back on. Now I know that the handle will uh, wear in and that'll be fine. I can actually go ahead Merely, that's all good in there, so. Take care of this stuff when you take it all off. That's it, it's really good. I like it, I do agree that that is how the membrane should be. Putting the door back on. First thing first, in my opinion, I like to wind the window down. take the handle off you've got to choose where that goes but I'll show you that in a second because people just slap them on anywhere and then they got to live with the thing where it finally comes to rest either when the window is up or down and it could be on your leg it could be somewhere inconvenient so you got to choose before you go ahead and put that back on put the membrane back on now not the membrane, um, the door trim. Now I have found that it's just a reverse of the way it went on, come off to how it goes back on. Uh, take note of these little, apparently they matter. Apparently they matter. So, and as the door trim goes on, it seems to slot into place. So I'll just um, try and one-handedly show you. can't apparently but the window piece has to go in first the rest of the door has to follow flies everywhere today I don't get it America there you go see that see that I'll try and do it again with one hand see that in and it sort of finds itself and then down now I like to put the screws back in first, probably those two, and put the cup back in, then go around and put the clips back in. Make sure it's all sort of in place, push like hammer down there, hammer along there. As you can see, the screw holes are up to there. Um, one thing I noticed about Christmas, America's Christmas is winter, snow, this and that. So the entire planet, in its wisdom, Right now it's 40 degrees, I'm talking Celsius, not Fahrenheit, Celsius. 40 plus degrees Celsius in the middle of summer. And everyone's all got the red Santa Claus outfit, the red hat, the, you know, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know, in, I pulled up at the shopping centre yesterday and I noticed, um, one of the fellas that collects the trolleys, 
Well, actually all of them, but I, I noticed one of them because he's the only one I saw really before going inside. Had in, and it was, it was hot, sunny weather. Very hot, very sunny, very, very hot. He had the red top, the red pants, the, the bloody Santa Claus hat. And I'm thinking, by the end of the day, you're going to be in hospital on the drip, re replenishing all those fluids you lost. Maybe not to that extreme, but, you know, this is shorts and singlet weather. I, 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 I'm wearing a pair of shorts and that's it. That's all I've got on. So, how come America gets to dictate what the rest of the world does? You know? Can someone please answer me that question? I'm certainly not going to follow that stupid bloody trend. It's ridiculous. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to put those three screws back in. Right, oh, that's back on. Now, while we're at it, let's not forget this guy. Remember that clip? Remember that hole? So you've got to use your own judgment here. All my videos, or most videos on YouTube, those videos, now remember that clip, find the hole. That's it. You've still got to use your own judgment with videos on YouTube. Now, I was just thinking then as I was putting them screws in, if anyone comes to me and says the reason why Australia and a lot of other places copy what America does is because America is superior, don't comment, because uh, I've already concluded that to be uh, not true. Now, um, and I, I just can't sit down and come up with all the <laughs> examples at this present moment, but with this fella here, choose wisely. You've got to live with it. With the window up, that handle's there. With the window down, that handle's there. That's actually good enough. That there's pretty good. And being the passenger, it's not me that's got to live with it. So finding the clip. There's two, it can go in both ways. And uh, yep, that happened as I was trying to pry this thing out. Um, it was in that way. because, And I prefer it that way. Because you get the screwdriver and you push it that way and it sticks out the end and you can pull it out. It doesn't always work that way, but uh, sometimes it does. So putting that in, good enough. Freedom flies everywhere. That clips on. Remember roughly... That's actually on. That is on. And uh, I'd have to go through all that rigmarole to get all that back off again. Mate, that, that handle is probably the hardest part. And uh, this fella here. Oh, last but not least. So the job is done. You might want to leave that on for a little bit longer as you fumble back and forth, but... That's it. That's it. That's already fixed. And it'll wear in more as I go. But it's got grease, it's got lithium grease, a very light lithium grease, as well as the uh, light oil, the machine oil. Um, that's it, folks. And you can wipe that with your cloth, lint-free rag, whatever it is. To uh, I'll tell you, when you wash your car, these can't real nice. Beautiful. Now, the eBay seller, I messaged him. I'm going to try and leave a link in the description for this handle. I actually bought the lift 
and the right separately from the bloke. You don't sell them as a pet. Um, I sent him a message, mate, and I sent him photos. Yeah, I sent a replacement. Nothing more. I said, uh, can you let us know when you send it? Nothing. Mate, can you uh, tell us when? A couple more of those with no reply. So I said, mate, today's date is such and such. I will be contacting PayPal. Don't do any purchases online without something like PayPal. He got back to me and uh, sent the item. Blah, blah. Sent it yesterday. I have gone, okay, good of you to bloody let us know. So anyway, um, that being said... I contacted PayPal, told him, I said, look, I don't know if he's actually sent it. I don't know if I should do it. I was actually here, I was ringing up to uh, let you know what he's done, but I found he's sent a message. Now, when you do a, pay a PayPal dispute, you don't, when they send you a message, do not respond. Now, I'm to send this back to him. Uh, he's, he's supposed to send out a bloody uh, a return box. So I'll get that return box and send it back to him. Um, I'll leave uh, I'll leave a link in the description to this this handle or to that seller with this handle, and um, yeah, we'll go from there, buddy. Um, I actually thought I was going to get duped, but the new handle turned up. But the the problem was. He wasn't telling me stuff. He wasn't telling me when he sent it. He wasn't telling me anything. So I thought that he was going to, uh, you know, pull a blanket over my eyes like uh, what Edison's did with my mate when he bought that SX82. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Poor bloke. I did look after him and uh, got him up and running. But... Uh, be careful with these eBay sellers. Uh, furthermore, that's it. Um, when this uh, return postage thing comes, I've got that uh, eBay Plus, so I should receive a free postage pa parcel. So I don't have to pay for the return postage. As far as I'm concerned, look, I'd pay a couple bucks to send it back to him. He can have it. Um... But I'm going to let PayPal know the new part has turned up. It is quite good. Very happy with it. And uh, whether it was because PayPal uh, jumped on, and they got his attention. They did something to his account so that he would respond instead of just disregard it. He would respond. So that's what he's done. So uh, I probably wouldn't... I don't know if I would recommend him or not. I really don't know. I do not know. But one thing I will say. These are smooth and round on both sides. The original handles, the black handles, the driver's side was smooth and the passenger side had this. If I can show it. If I can show it. This ridge bit. The factory handles did that. No one knows why. On my mate's 2008 Colorado. Same cab. Same car. Everything. Same shape. Everything. He has the same thing. On his dad's twin cab. All four doors. So actually, my parents. My parents have a Rodeo. But I found them. That's why they've got it. That's got that ridged bit. So does that. Let's go to the uh, driver's side. Ridged. Ridged. All got that ridged pattern. <sighs> Shit. 30 minutes. Alright folks, that's enough. Um, I'll leave the link in the description, but uh, proceed um, with caution. I did have... A bit of trouble, but the bloke fixed it, um, and uh, now I'm uh, all sorted. Righto, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, feel free to skim, fast forward, do whatever you want.
the, the, the point is the video is there to help you I don't get money from YouTube I'm not that big yet I'm a truck driver that's what I do that's how I earn my money so this is just uh, hobby stuff on weekends and uh, right now my two weeks off I'm, uh, I've got a gut full of piss and uh, I was in the mood for changing that handle that turned up yesterday in the mail very happy with it all right, catch us all later, and uh, if no, I'm set already. Uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, have a safe, safe uh, holiday. Um, don't drink and drive, I suppose. <laughs> catch us.